Hey everybody, my name is Chris Stefano and I'm going to show how to install Drush with one command. Who here knows what Drush is? Excellent. It says right here, Drush, uh, for those of you at home, it is intended to be a complete replacement for the Drupal.sh script that is included with Drupal core. Who has actually used Drupal.sh? Almost, almost, okay, all right, three or four, four, five, five of us have, have, have used it. Um, it, it doesn't work as well as Drush does. Drush is now the, the de facto command line interface for installing Drupal and, and uh, configuring Drupal and for maintaining Drupal from the command line. So I'm going to show you um, the commands that are going to be run. Uh, these, these are, uh, some say, the best way to install Drush. Some people say it's the easiest way to install Drush. Uh, Kerry Gordon, who was here a minute ago, uh, mentioned at a previous meetup, Hey, there's a new way to install Drush. Does anybody know about it? Well, this is how to do it. If you go to Drupal.org and you click on the, the, the Drush project page, it now actually says this. This is one of the ways to install Drush. And we're going to put these commands into one command. So pair, upgrade, pair, pair channel discovery. So this tells the copy of pair that's on your server to add the Drush pair repository, drush.org, and then to actually install it. And then I add, at the very end, I add just a, an empty Drush command so that Drush will run as root and install any remaining dependencies. So this, this, is, this, is, this is, I'm cheating. This is actually four commands but I'm putting it all into one. I'm appending them and making sure that if each one is successful, that it'll then run the following command. So I've actually done this already on the server that I'm going to use this command on. So I'm going to replace this with, uh, with a semicolon. So it's going to run the final command no matter what. It, it doesn't matter if, there, if the previous commands fail. It, it will run the final command. So here... All right, so um, I'm just going to create a, a variable here in my in my shell environment. Uh, pair install drush now is, and you can you can add this in in a shell script. This is this is really this isn't how you want to do this with a large deployment, but you can you can script this very easily. So I'll just run ssh uh, on this server. Uh, I think we run. SSH on a different port on this server. And then we're just going to install Drush. So what is it? Pair install Drush now. Can everybody see this? Do I need to zoom in? All right, we're going to make this a little bigger. Everyone see that? So again, I'm running, I'm running SSH uh, remotely, and this is a remote SSH command. It's going to ex execute this command as root on the server, drush.larks.la, and I've already fed it the, the commands to run, and fingers crossed, there it is. It's installed. It's done. And it ran drush at the very end to say, yes, drush is now installed. What's the drush version that comes with that? Is it 4 5? This, I believe, is 4. 5 is about to come out soon. Like 4.5? I, I think so. I think so. I, I don't. I don't actually know. So, so the reason that this is news is because uh, it, it takes a lot of people a long time to change practices. And once someone installs Drush a certain way or installs a tool a certain way, it's easier, oftentimes, to do it the old way that you know instead of the new way. So here's the new way. It's using pair, and here's how to do it with one command. And that was. Um, Using this this variable that I just put in, yes, Steve. How did you provision the server? I actually didn't get an email or anything about that new server, so this is an existing oh. server. Yeah, right. yeah. But that's a that's a good question for next time. So thank you very much, everybody. And that is how you install Drush with one command. If you're on a Linux machine, a lot better way to install Drush. That way, you your system. It's not a big